delayed Cape Crusader! Seems you need reinforcements. What to send next? Killer robot leprechauns? Angry pilgrims? Ha! I have it! Mutant Easter bunnies. Easter bunnies? Really? What's wrong with bunnies? I'm just having second thoughts. All these creatures might be too over the top to be Batman villains. I really don't see how. Let's see what other Batman fanboys think. Yes, you've got a question? I always felt Batman was best suited in the role of gritty urban crime detective, but now you guys have him up against Santas and Easter bunnies? I'm sorry, but that's not my Batman. Possibly they're correct. Maybe we need some testing to see what it says. Here, read this. Batman's rich history allows him to be interpreted in a multitude of ways. To be sure, this is a lighter incarnation, but it's certainly no less valid and true to the character's roots as the tortured Avenger crying out for mommy and daddy. And besides, those Easter bunnies looked really scary, right? Uh -huh. True that. Really scary. Meh. Okay then, mutant bunnies are a go! <laughs> What's left to throw at him? A squadron of scolding mothers. Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Yay! I knew you could do it! Where did he go? Oh, back to wherever it was I plucked him from. Now, let's talk killer moth! Wait, uh, Batmite, if you truly value my abilities... Oh, I do. I do. You know I do, Batman then you wouldn't want me to waste them in pointless fights, would you? No, not really. Then we both agree it would be best if you return to your home dimension and let me continue to fight crime in peace, right? Right, but I still think I could... I'll give you an official batarang. And I'll sign it. Deal! Thanks, pal! You're the greatest! What just happened? I'm not sure. Hey, Bats, did you hear this weird little voice kind of heckling you? No.